This is how you can make a Wordle command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Now this is going to be the exact same as the popular game Wordle that you see on this website here, but it will just be for a Discord bot. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that you can actually get the source code for this video and for other videos on my channel by joining my channel memberships. If you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you'll get access to that source code. And if you get the Custom Bot tier as well, you will get a custom coded Discord bot by me and my team. So if that's interesting to you, go ahead and click the link in the description or the join button next to my username and let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by going over to community and we're just gonna go ahead and create wordle.js. In here, we can go ahead and start off by defining wordle. So we can do const and we'll do wordle and then we can do equals require. In here, we're just gonna get discord and game cord. So you're actually gonna have to go ahead and install that in your terminal by doing npmi discord game cord for this to work. So just go ahead and do that. Uh, then we're gonna do const and we're gonna get slash command builder then we can do equals require and we're gonna get discord.js one other thing to keep in mind is you do actually have to have the message content intent enabled and defined for your discord bot otherwise this command will not work if you don't know how to do that basically you just go to the developer portal you go ahead and turn on the message content intent and then you just define it in your index.js file as you would for your other intents so now we can do module.exports equals we'll open this up do data and we can say new slash command builder we're gonna go ahead and set a name for that and this is just gonna be wordle we can go ahead and say description and we can say play the wordle game just like that and we can go ahead and do async executes and we're going to do interaction and then we can just go ahead and open this up down here we're going to do const capital game equals and then we're going to do new and capital wordle and we can just go ahead and open this up we're going to set the message to our interaction we can set the is slash game and we're going to make this false and we can do embed and this is going to basically change the embed the game package has all this enabled you just have to edit it so we can do title and this is going to be wordle and then we just go ahead and do color you do actually have to use a hex code for this so just go ahead and put in the hex code you would like for me i'm just going to do this um, but you can put in whatever color you would like just go ahead and google that or use chat gpt then we can set our custom word and we're going to do null for that then we can go ahead and do timeout time this is going to be 60,000, just like that so that's how long the game will remain active and after 60,000 milliseconds the game will shut off then we can go ahead and define a win message and in here we're going to say you won the word word was and we can bold this and we're just going to go ahead and open up curly braces and we're going to say word and we're going to close that and we're going to finish off the bolding as well we can go ahead and add a comma and we're going to do lose message and that is going to be you lost the word was and we'll bold this again we can open up word we'll finish that off and we'll finish off the bolding we can go ahead and add another comma and we're going to do player only message and this is going to be only and we'll open up player and we can say can you use these buttons now we can go ahead and add a semicolon here and we can actually come down here we're going to go ahead and do game dot start game and we can go ahead and close that off and then we can do game dot on and we're going to do game over and then we can do comma results arrow function we'll go ahead and open this up and we're just going to simply return and do nothing with that we are actually done with the wordle command so we can go ahead and restart the bot and actually test this out all right so before i actually show you how this command works i would like to say that if you'd like to invite tutorial bot to your servers you can do so by clicking the link in the description it means you're going to get access to the previous video commands the future video commands and you're just going to have everything i've done in one place within your server like i said before if you'd like this just go ahead and click the link in the description so now we can go ahead and start off by doing some wordle and we're just going to go ahead and select it and as you can see it's going to go ahead and say our wordle and it's going to give us our options here so you can't actually type anything in what you're going to have to do is you're actually going to go ahead and send it in the channel so for example let's just do apple and as you can see it's going to go ahead and delete that message and it's going to go ahead and say a p p l e it's just like the actual Wordle game. See, it's green because that is in the right place. So now, as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and time me out because I did not finish guessing within the 60,000 milliseconds. So if we go ahead and try this out again, I'm just going to go ahead and send it and I can just go ahead and say Apple. So as you can see, none of those letters are accurate. Maybe we do inputs. The T is not in the right place. Maybe title or something like that. And as you can see, you can just go ahead and keep guessing. Maybe we do like fizzy or just pretty much like anything you would like to put in obviously i'm not guessing because otherwise i would put a t in these maybe we got socks i don't know so as you can see here i did get that one right but it's gonna go ahead and say that i did lose the word was storm so that's how you can actually code a wordle command for your discord.js version 14 bot if this worked for you be sure to leave a like and subscribe if it didn't and you need any help or you just like to join the community server here go ahead and join the server in the description below and with that i'll see you guys in the next video